Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so in last video, we actually learned how to plot impedances. And these were the values that we have gotten. Uh, once we have plotted our impedance, which was actually 2 plus J2. Now what we're going to learn, we're going to learn how to plot admittance. Okay, what are admittance? Admittance is nothing but an opposite of impedance. Impedance is something that is resisting while admittance is something that is allowing my current and voltages to flow easily. So the best way to actually do it is quite easy. So how to find out an admittance of an impedance. So for example, in our last video we calculated this. So we had a load that was 100 plus J100. We normalize it. Normalize means we divide that by 50. So we got the value 2 plus J2. So this was our uh, impedance. And once you multiply it by 50, you can get a denormalized value of 100 plus J100. Why we need to normalize it? Just to recap, because so we can plot it on our Smith chart, because our Smith chart is actually a normalized version. We cannot, it has all the values which has already been normalized. So the next thing is, we need to plot our admittance. Admittance is quite simple. The symbol for admittance is going to be, instead of Z for impedance, is going to be Y of L. So we're going to find out what is the value of our admittance is going to be. So we know, we know uh, from back then, it's 2 plus J2. And this is the line that was associated with my admittance. So the, exactly the same thing we're going to do. We're going to take our ruler or our scale. And we're going to draw a line from that center. Make sure the line is straight. All the way. I hope it's straight. All right. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this from the center. And make sure that this line is quite straight like this. All right, and I'm going to go from my center and I'm going to draw a line intersecting all of these circles behind this line. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to draw a line like this from that center. Make sure it's aligned with this line and I just drew this line. All right, intersecting this outside of that circle. All right, so just simply drawing it because since admittance is an opposite of of of, uh, of your impedance and impedance is your opposite of your admittance so it's just actually replicating the same line so now i already have these values measured which was from the center to this point i already had this point so now i'm going to do i'm going to go to my center and i'm going to put this point right at the center of it and i'm going to draw a line and i'm going to mark this point so I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to mark this point right here. So this point is somewhere around here. This is this point. All right. So now it's just a matter of reading off this, this point. What is this particular point is? So now if I were to look at it, what is this point? So if I were to go right here on my, because I need to definitely find out what is my real value. So the first thing I need to do is this. This is 0 0.2 and this is 0 0.3 so this is somewhere in between so this is 0 0.2 0 0.22 0 0.24 and this is somewhere in the middle so i know my real axis is going to be 0 0.25 all right how i come up with this okay this point so this this real axis circle which is right here this is 0 0.2 this is definitely will be 0 0.22 0 0.24 and this is in the center so this is 0 0.25 then 0 0.26 to 8 and 0 0.3 so this is 0 0.25 and i know this is at the bottom part of the cert uh, of the of my smith chart so this is going to be a negative value now i'm going to read off these lines which are traveling which are moving towards this okay so i know something i know this is 0 0.2 all right i know this is 0 0.2 i know this is 0 0.4 so somewhere in the middle this is 0 0.3 this is 0 0.3 right here and this is somewhere around 0 0.25 so i would say about 0 0.25 see 
see these lines which are moving like this so I know this is 0 0.2 which is going like this I know this is 0 0.4 which is going like this so this definitely has to be from 0 0.2 0 0.3 and 0 0.25 so this is going to be 0 0.25 J so the first point is actually 0 0.25 from my real axis and from these cons from these lines which are traveling in this direction these lines which are going like this these are actually my uh, inductive or capacitive lines so this is somewhere around here this is 0 0.2 and this is 0 0.3 so definitely this would be somewhere around 0 0.25 so that's why I have 0 0.25 minus J 0 0.25 now how am I going to normalize this now now so this is a denormalize this so the best way to denormalize your admittance is this so yl is actually 0 0.25 minus j 0 0.25 so what you're going to do since z naught since z your z naught so uh, is actually your 50 ohms so your y0 is going to be 1 over z naught all right since your characteristic impedance is 50 ohms so y0 is going to be an opposite of this 1 over z naught so we're going to divide this by 50 ohms so once i picked up my yl which is actually 0 0.25 minus j 0 0.25 which was actually the value here in order for me to denormalize this i need to divide this by 1 over 50 and why do I need to do that? If my Z naught is 50, then Y naught, which is admittance, is actually inversely proportional to your characteristics impedance or any impedance. Admittance is inversely proportional to impedance. Impedance is inversely proportional to admittance. Okay, so in order for me to do that, I would just simply divide this. Uh, so I have my calculator in complex mode, so which is going to be 0 0.25 minus... 0 0.25 i so let's put it in a bracket and just simply divide by divide that by 50 so divide that by 50 so that should give me a value so actual value of my admittance denormalized value is actually going to be 1 over 200 so this value is going to be 1 over 200 minus 1 over 200 J. So this is going to be my YL denormalize. Denormalize. All right. Or in other words, if I want to look at it in terms of decimal values, so I just simply press this. So this is going to be 5 times 10 to the negative 3 minus 5 times 10 to the negative 3 j so this is going to be my denormalized value of my admittance okay so i said your admittance is actually an opposite it's an actually your opposite of your uh, your uh, your impedance once you plot your impedance right here once you plot your impedance it's just a replication it's just the reflection of this on a smith chart so let's verify this so let's say and I know any MP admittance is inversely proportional to impedance. So if this is my ZL, ZL, I can just simply find out what is my YL is going to be by simply taking one, one divided by your ZL value. So my ZL normalized is actually 1 over 2. So let's do this. So 1, so let's calculate this. 1 divided by your impedance, which is 2 plus 2 j would give me 1 divided by 4 which is 0 0.5 so let's do it like this 0 0.5 minus 0 0.25 0 0.5 minus 0 0.25 indeed this was actually my reflect uh, my um, admittance was so when i replicated this this is the value we were picking it up just to make sure that you're doing it right just simply take your impedance which was normalized impedance and 1 divided by your normalized impedance should give you your admittance and indeed this is the same thing that we picked up from our smith chart 
value. And by multi dividing it by 50, you get a denormalized version of your YL, which is your admittance based on your, uh, um, your impedance. Exactly, reflection coefficient, transmission coefficient, since the line distance is exactly the same, you will pick up exactly the same values off from the bottom of this Smith chart. So I hope you like this small tutorial on how to plot admittance. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.